Ethical hacking is a crucial field in cybersecurity. It involves using hacking skills for good. Think of ethical hackers as digital security guards. They find weaknesses in systems and networks with full permission from system owners. Their goal is to help, not harm. They improve security to prevent real attacks. Ethical hacking is also known as penetration testing. Ethical hackers are the good guys in cybersecurity. They need a deep understanding of computer systems, including operating systems, networks, and programming, and be familiar with common hacking techniques and tools. In today's highly connected world, ethical hacking is more important than ever. Our lives are increasingly dependent on digital systems. We use computers and the internet for banking, shopping, communication, and healthcare. Businesses and governments also rely heavily on digital infrastructure. This widespread connectivity brings many benefits. However, it also creates many opportunities for cyber criminals. Malicious attackers are constantly looking for ways to exploit vulnerabilities. They aim to steal sensitive data, commit fraud, or disrupt essential services. This is where ethical hackers play a critical role. Ethical hackers help organizations stay one step ahead of these threats. By proactively searching for weaknesses, they can identify and fix security holes before criminals find them. This preventative approach is much more effective and less costly than dealing with the aftermath of a successful cyber attack. A data breach can lead to significant financial losses. It can also damage an organization's reputation and erode customer trust. Ethical hacking helps to minimize these risks. It provides a realistic assessment of an organization's security posture. This allows businesses to make informed decisions about their security investments. The scope of ethical hacking is vast. It covers a wide range of systems and technologies. Ethical hacking operates within a strict framework of legal and ethical guidelines. The most important principle is obtaining explicit, written permission before conducting any testing. Without proper authorization, attempting to access or test a system is illegal. This could lead to serious legal consequences, including fines and imprisonment. Therefore, ethical hackers always ensure they have a signed contract or agreement in place. This document clearly defines the scope of the test, the systems to be tested, and the methods to be used. It protects both the ethical hacker and the organization. Beyond the legal requirements, ethical hackers adhere to a strong code of ethics. This code emphasizes principles such as integrity, objectivity, and confidentiality. Ethical hackers must act honestly and responsibly at all times. They must report all their findings accurately and without bias. They also have a duty to protect any sensitive information they encounter during their work. Disclosing vulnerabilities to unauthorized parties or using them for personal gain is strictly prohibited. The primary goal is always to improve security, not to cause harm or exploit weaknesses for any other purpose. Respecting privacy is another critical ethical consideration. During a penetration test, an ethical hacker might gain access to private data. Ethical hackers use a variety of specialized tools to perform their work. These tools help them identify vulnerabilities and simulate attacks. It is important to remember that these tools can be used for malicious purposes if they fall into the wrong hands. However, in the hands of an ethical hacker, they are powerful instruments for improving security. One common category of tools is network scanners. Tools like Nmap are used to discover devices on a network. They can also identify open ports and services running on those devices. This information helps ethical hackers understand the network structure. Another important set of tools are vulnerability scanners. Examples include Nessus and OpenVS. These tools automatically scan systems for known vulnerabilities. They compare the system's configuration and software versions against a database of known weaknesses. When a vulnerability is found, the scanner provides a report detailing the issue and its potential impact. This helps ethical hackers quickly identify areas that need attention. However, automated scanners are not perfect. They can sometimes produce false positives or miss certain types of vulnerabilities. Therefore, manual testing is also crucial. For web application testing, Tools like Burp Suite and OASP Zap are widely used. Section 5. Peeking Inside Ethically How Tools Can Access Messages When we talk about reading private messages legally, it is crucial to understand the context. Ethical hackers do not randomly access people's private messages. This would be illegal and unethical. 
Instead, they might test systems that handle messages but only with explicit permission. For instance, a company might hire an ethical hacker to test the security of its internal messaging platform. The goal is to find vulnerabilities that could allow an unauthorized person to read messages. The ethical hacker is acting on behalf of the company to protect its communications. In such a scenario, the ethical hacker would use various tools and techniques. They might use network sniffing tools like Wireshark to capture network traffic. If messages are transmitted without encryption, they could potentially be read from this captured traffic. This would highlight a serious vulnerability. The ethical hacker would then recommend implementing strong encryption. This ensures that messages are unreadable, even if intercepted. The focus is always on identifying weaknesses in the system, not on the content of specific messages unless absolutely necessary to demonstrate a flaw. Another approach involves testing the application's security itself. If the messaging application has vulnerabilities like SQL injection or insecure direct object references, an attacker might exploit these. Section 6. A Practical Look. Simulating Ethical Message Access. Let's consider a hypothetical scenario to understand this better. Imagine a company, Securecom, develops a new corporate messaging app. Before launching it, Securecom hires an ethical hacking team. They want to ensure the app is secure and private messages cannot be easily intercepted or accessed by unauthorized parties. The ethical hackers are given a contract. This contract clearly states they are allowed to test the app. It specifies the test environment and the types of attacks they can simulate. This legal agreement is the first and most crucial step. The ethical hackers begin by studying the app's architecture. They look at how messages are stored and transmitted. They might use a tool like Wireshark to monitor network traffic. They send test messages between accounts they control. They check if the messages are encrypted during transit. If they find that messages are sent in plain text, this is a major vulnerability. They document this finding. They might capture a test message to show Securecom that it can be read by anyone on the same network. This demonstrates the risk clearly. Next, they might test the application's login mechanism. They could use tools like Burp Suite to try and bypass authentication. Section 7. Building Digital Fortresses. How Ethical Hacking Protects Us. Ethical hacking, including the careful testing of messaging systems, plays a vital role in protecting people from a wide array of cyber threats. When ethical hackers find weaknesses, organizations can fix them. This makes it much harder for malicious attackers to succeed. For instance, if an ethical hacker finds that a company's customer database is vulnerable, fixing that flaw protects the personal information of thousands or even millions of people. This prevents identity theft, financial fraud, and other serious consequences that can arise from data breaches. Consider the impact on private communications. Many of us rely on messaging apps and email for sensitive conversations. If these systems are not secure, our private information could be exposed. Ethical hackers test these systems to ensure they use strong encryption. They check for backdoors or flaws that could allow unauthorized access. By identifying and helping to fix these issues, ethical hackers ensure that our private conversations remain private. This is crucial for personal privacy and for maintaining trust in digital communication tools. Without this assurance, people might be hesitant to use these convenient technologies. Ethical hacking also helps protect critical infrastructure. Many essential services like power grids, water supplies, and transportation systems are controlled by computers. A successful cyber attack on these systems could have devastating consequences. Section 8. The ethical imperative wielding hacking skills responsibly. The skills possessed by an ethical hacker are powerful. They can be used to find weaknesses and improve security. However, these same skills, if misused, can cause significant harm. Responsibility is the cornerstone of this profession. An ethical hacker must act with integrity, honesty, and respect for the law. Unauthorized access is illegal and unethical. The path involves rigorous training, certification, and ethical conduct. Confidentiality is paramount. 